Greetings YouTube. How is everybody doing out there today? It is beautiful cold Sunday, but as you can see, it's not raining. It's cold. Did you hear the birds singing? That means spring's coming. It's cold. It's probably about 40 degrees, guys, and it, it feels colder than that. But update. I got my skirt. I got this side done. I had a little fire going over here today, guys. I had a little fire going, trying to burn out. I got this side done. So, what I'm going to do, I got to see how tomorrow plays out, guys. I got to build my doors. I got to build my doors for this right here. Then once I build my doors for that, then I'll know kind of where I'm, where I'll be at. So I got to build the doors first before I can finish the rest of this. Because what you want to do when you build the doors, you want to, because I'm going to use the same stuff on the doors. You want to, you want to go that way and you want to go that way from the edge of the doors. That way you can figure out where you're going to be at. Actually, to be, be honest with you guys, you're, you're going to want to go from the, uh, from right here where the door's going to be out this way and then go that way and you want your cut to be right in the middle you want your cuts to be right in the middle that way it all lines up perfect because you just start moving stuff around and starting here starting there starting there it's just gonna mess everything up so I, what i like to do i like to start i like to start from right here where the door where the door hinge goes go out and then go out that way and then you want your cut to be right there at the end of the door same way over here and that way you go that way once you get it going so you can see what how it all falls into place but i had these plastic skids i just set them under there guys that way when i set stuff up under here it'll be off the ground and no i'm not setting anything under here that's gonna be like that's gonna rot as you can say i'm not gonna put cardboard boxes and that under here I just got that under here because I do have some tires and stuff, tires and wheels and things like that. I can set them in here. They'll be just fine. But it's coming along, guys. As soon as I get this part done, then I'm going to start up here. I got to get me uh, some plywood. I got to get me 20, I think it was 20 sheets of plywood I got to get. And then once I get that going, guys, once I get this done, then it's moving on up. So can't wait, though, guys. But I, it, the weather's just been killing me. So that's about all I could do for now. It's just, I, I finished this here today and I'm running out of time. So I ain't got, I can't, I ain't got time to uh, build the doors. Between this, guys, on my bad days, I work inside in my shop. On my good days, like today's a good day, I work out here. Then I get me a little bonfire going. A little bonfire. Actually, it was a rotten stump there. And an animal dug down in there, so I, I didn't know what kind of animal it was. So I just set it on fire and just created me a little, just a little bonfire there. I didn't want too much. Enough to give me a warm when I need to get warm. I just come over here, just feel the heat, get a little bit warm, and away we go. So, well, I'm packing up, guys. I know I showed this to you in another video. This right here is a Ford engine. I found it in the mud. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take, I, when I get the Bobcat, I'm going to get it up there and get it into my shop. I'm going to buy an engine stand. I'm going to tear it apart and see what's wrong with it. Just because it's sitting in the mud don't mean nothing. I'm just going to tear it apart and see if it can be salvaged. If it can be salvaged, I might build that thing. Not not to get, you know, five, 600 horses out of it. Probably get, you know, about 300 out of it. I might build it. We'll see. If not, maybe it become a coffee table. Who knows? But I, I hate seeing people tear good engines up, man. I can see if they blow it up and, you know, destroy the inside of it. I've seen that before. But I've seen somebody dump a clutch and break the crank in about 50,000 pieces, along with all the pistons. So, well, guys, that's where I am on this project. I'm moving along. As soon as I get nice days like today, you know, I can come out here and get things done. I still got to get over there. I got to get a lot of that cleared out so I can work on my privacy fence. 
I go up there every week, guys, the Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, who's ever, whatever time it is. If it's raining outside and I need some pickets for my fence, I, I'll go to Home Depot. If it's not, then I, I'll go to Menards. Menards, got, Menards lumber is a lot cheaper than, than, than everybody else's because they want you to come over there and buy their stuff. So, Well, guys, y'all hang in there. I hope you have a great week this week. Like, share. Like this video, share this video, comment down below, share it to your social media if you don't mind. I appreciate the people that are sharing it to the social media. And um, let's just see how this week plays out. I hope it's a good week for you guys. They say it might be storms coming in this week. I hope not, man, because let me tell you, these storms just drive me crazy, guys. They drive me crazy. I've I, I never seen a storm so much out here since I've lived out here and, and the storms just getting more and more and more intense. And, and I just, you know, I just hate my stuff getting tore up. I, I spent all last year building that privacy fence and it didn't get tore up, but it got pushed. So I had to spend more money and spend more days shoring it up to keep it from getting worse. And then my neighbor's fence, his fence is destroyed. So, I know he's probably waiting on me to replace it. I want him to replace it. I don't want to replace it. So, well, guys, till the next time, y'all hang in there for the next video. Bye-bye.